Hey y'all, out here at the 24th Annual Auto Crusade and I have got a 61 Impala I'm sure y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Brian, thanks so much for giving me some time today, brother. <clears throat> well, thank you. Tell me a little bit about this Impala. Oh, uh, this Impala, we uh, started on about eight years ago. It took me a couple years to uh, do the restoration on it. Did the majority of the work myself. Started out, you know, I did the, uh, the body and the paint work at right. one of my local shops. You know, we uh, we worked on it in the evenings. We worked on it on Saturdays. It wasn't like it was a, you know, a project that we worked on every day. It's something we did in the, you know, in the evenings and on the weekends. It was your own car. It was my own car. And that don't pay. Yeah, I don't pay. Not real well. <laughs> Not real well. What so. condition was it in when you got it? Uh, actually, the car was in pretty good shape. Um, there was very little rust in the car. Really didn't do any replacement panels. We we cut and patched a few places. That was it. But other than that, the car was pretty straight. The car was in great shape. You know, we, we blasted the whole car, took it all the way down, came back up with it, you know, with that beautiful black paint that's on it. And, oh, that uh, is beautiful. It was straight, not much rust. Yeah, Where did you find straight. it? Found a car, I bought it off eBay. No kidding. I bought the car off eBay. Yeah. I'd come out of Connecticut. Oh, wow. Yeah. Off eBay and out of Connecticut yeah. with no rust. I yeah, mean, that's right. You're a lucky man. Hey, I was lucky. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Trying to go play the lotto now. Yeah. No, but, it's, it's a cool car. Yeah. Yeah. What's up underneath it? Your stock chassis and all that? Or? Uh, actually, the chassis, we modified the chassis a little bit. We took, uh, we modified the center frame. You know how the sections come together in the right. middle. We modified that and we, uh, where we could get a larger drive shaft in it where we didn't have to have a two-piece drive shaft. Right. So we modified the frame. We actually came out from the frame rails and came all the way out to the rockers and extended the frame all the way out to the rockers and okay. put it up inside the car. So we modified it there. We put ride tech suspension on it with a with the air ride. Yeah, they're awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. put a nine inch forward in it. You know, that's the, the majority all of the, the frame. Good stuff. All the good stuff on the frame. I mean, yeah. it's powder coated up. I mean, it's, it's really nice under it. Cool, no, beautiful car, brother. Nice custom interior in here, Brian. Uh, yes, uh, the interior was done by Kenny Stevens out of Buford, Georgia. Right. Uh, we did a full leather interior. Those are the factory seats in the front that we just modified those up to make them look a little different. Basically, the back seat we cut and you know fitted and put a little console all the way through. Uh, and we got a nice stereo system through the car. So right. yeah, the interior looks great. Did you <laughs> custom the dash or anything? Uh, the dash does have a custom plate in there for the gauges. Right. Um, but other than that, you just wanted to keep it pretty much stock. I it? did. I did. I wanted to keep that dash, that stock looking dash. Right. I did want to keep that. Well, because uh, I mean, how many people take a 61 Impala dash and put it in something else, right? They're right. So, right. Why would you want to take one you already have and go move it and That's put right. something else in it? Yeah. What do you got going on up under here? Oh, uh, we got an LS2. We did a uh, heads and cam kit on the motor, but uh, the, basically the bottom end of the car is, you know, it's virtually stock. Right. Um, just. You know, heads and cam, like I said, we'd put the, uh, you know, all the bolt-in goodies on the, on the outside with the uh, fast intake and headers. Right. Um, just keep checking that list. Just keep checking it off. All right, yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Now it's nice and finished. And well, I see you got Concept One uh, pulley system on there, too. Yes, Concept One uh, serpentine belt system. I mean, I run them on all my cars. Uh, Kevin Red at Concept One, they always do me a great job. Yeah. And they, do, they deliver a fabulous product. They do. And they're great people. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I've been yep. in this weekend uh, to shoot this show and spend a little time with them yesterday. And yeah, man, they are awesome people. A great product, small business to where you can still get in touch with them and they right. care about it. So yeah. now, and they always, I mean, look at that product, right? I mean, how cool yeah. is that? So it's yeah. not, you're not, you're not giving up anything by using them. That's for sure. That's right. Kevin and them, they've always, they're great guys. You do, you said it. That's all, yeah. that's all that matters. How many horses is, you know? Uh, we dynoed it. It put about 450 to the back tire. All right. Cool. So, no, very nice under here. It's a very nice cruiser. Got a six speed. You did the power tour in it. I did the power tour in it in 2014. Yeah. We wow. finished the uh, we finished the build on a basically on a Thursday or Wednesday night before we left on Thursday. Never test drove the car or nothing. We drove it all the way to Fort Worth, Texas. So no, again, nice build, brother. Thank you. Thank you. So there you go from the 24th annual Auto Crusade, a 1961 Impala. Good looking car. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya. Hey y'all, don't forget to visit scottydtv.com for more cool content and an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the logo at the end of this video.